Well, Camaro cameras, by popular request, yep, that's right, two of you asked me to make another one. So here is episode two of View with some tea and cake. Here's our view over here. And as you can see, I've come up to Queen Elizabeth Country Park where we're overlooking the A3, where it's nice and noisy and absolutely ideal for making a cake review video. Here's my little air wheel, which has got me all the way from the bottom to the top of the hill. So, let's see, we're over the top of a perilous cliff. Let's just go and hang over there and try not to drop our GoPro. Yeah, there's a perilous cliff. And here we are, with today's tea cake and, just in case you missed it, view. Right, so today's cake that we're reviewing is, obviously we've got the Earl Grey tea as standard, that never changes. Uh, but what we have got over here is a Heidi's Almond Macaroon. Now the reason why we're going with macaroons today is to highlight the difference between this episode, which is macaroons with a double O, and macarons, which was last week's video with a single O, and that's the French variation where it's much, much nicer. Normally macaroons aren't, uh, aren't a patch on macarons, but these ones are actually quite good because they're almond macaroons. So therefore we can think of these as a sort of English version of the French macaron. It's never going to be quite as good, but at least we're having a go. Anyway, so there's our tea. Let's have a little sip of that. Mm. Excellent, excellent. And then let's get straight in. I don't know what this is on the side. I think that might have been a neighbouring macaroon. Anyway, as you can see, straight away we can see that uh, the toasted almond on top isn't as good as anything Waitrose could do. Why can't they just make them go brown and toasty? If Waitrose can do it, why can't other people? Assumedly because they haven't put the time in. But never mind, let's see if they've been generous with the almond essence. done them. So, Heidi's, your service might be absolutely terrible and your price is very, very expensive. But you're not stingy with the almond essence. Very nice tasty wax paper underneath and it has to be said that is a pretty good English almond macaroon. I'm going to have another go on that straight away. Just checking over the fence that it's safe to do so. Yep, it is. Yep, atmospheric conditions are ideal for cake at the moment so let's get straight in there with bite number two. This tells us that they've distributed the almond essence evenly as well. Well done them. They may have made it with almond flour. Hmm. Mm, lovely. So, almond macarons with a lovely cup of Earl Grey original tea. Let's have a think about that. Hmm. Hmm. Could have been a bit browner on the top. Gonna dock a few marks for not having a very good almond in the centre there. Um, to be fair, I've had three of these this afternoon, so uh, you know I do know what they taste like. It's like, not an unfair review. So anyway, I think in summary, I'm going to give these a solid eight out of ten because they do taste very, very nice. And even at one pound forty each, which I think is a bit over the odds if we're being serious, um, it's not a bad end for a Wednesday evening. That was tea cake and a view with Aerocam. <laughs>